I'm sorry if I seem uninterested or I'm not listening or I'm indifferent Truly I ain't got no business here but since my friends are here I just came to kick it but really I would rather be at home all by myself not in this room with people who What's up YouTube? Welcome back to my vlog. For those of you who watched my intro vlog, you know that I'm on an army deployment right now. For those of you who didn't get to watch my intro vlog, make sure you click out of this one and go back and watch my intro vlog and then come back to watch this one. Um, so I'm on an army deployment right now. I've been in country for about a month and a half and I have about seven and a half months left. Um, I've been counting down the days, but it's like 222 days left, and I think it's much easier to count by Fridays or count by paydays. But I think I'm going to count by Fridays so it doesn't seem like I'm just living from paycheck to paycheck. So we have about 31 Fridays left as of today. But I'm excited to make this video because my MacBook has been down, and I found a way to upload the videos from my digital camera straight to my iPhone. So I'm going to edit on my iPhone and upload from my iPhone to YouTube. Yay, I'm so excited. I kind of wanted to make this video like a one month update, even though I've been in country for a little bit over a month. Like I said, I haven't been able to upload because of some issues with my MacBook. But so far things have been going well. Um, I would definitely say they have been going well for it to only have been one month since we've been in country. I'm pretty much acclimated to my environment now. I try so hard not to get complacent, but I'm pretty much into my own routine. I wake up about 3.30 every morning and I go to the gym. I come back, I change, and then I go to breakfast and then I go to work. And then when I get off of work, I go back to the gym. So my days are pretty long, but I still find time to do other things like go to church and volunteer. Um, volunteering has been important to me because it keeps me busy. And I don't want to seem like I'm always at work and always at the gym. So I volunteer at the USO, which is like a place for soldiers to come in, call their family members back home using our phones and use the computer, which has free Wi-Fi. Um, come in and use their own personal computers and use their own personal cell phones because we have free Wi-Fi. I feel like I'm helping soldiers and giving soldiers the opportunity to reach their family members uh, back home. I haven't been getting any mail because our mail situation is like, crazy. Um, I did get a package from my best friend. She sent me this little warmer thing. She sent that about two weeks ago but I didn't have the capabilities to plug it into my um, outlet because you need like an adapter piece so I've been holding off for like two weeks and I finally went to the PX to buy the adapter and I was so excited to plug it in and when I plugged it in it was just like so pretty like lit up my room and I was getting ready to put the wax inside of it and like not even 15 seconds after plugging it in like all the lights in my like building all the lights in my like where i stay at went out and <laughs> basically long story short the voltage of the lamp overpowered and now the light bulb broke and it doesn't even work anymore so i'm pretty upset about that other than that i haven't even gotten any packages yet i know my husband and my mom sent me stuff but i haven't got them yet because it just takes a long time for mail to get here from the states I have been using Amazon to order things so if you are planning on going on deployment in the future I would definitely recommend that you invest in Amazon Prime because it is easy to order things for Amazon Prime and get it shipped here. It does take a while but it's convenient because there are many things that you're not going to find inside the PX and things that you use back home that you're not going to have here um, in whatever country that you do deploy to. Invest in Amazon Prime and they will ship to you for free, but it won't come in two days like it will in the States. But they will ship to you for free um, and it takes about a month to get here. My friends, I was talking to one of my best friends and um, she was talking about her weight loss journey. And I was like, you know, I've been working on my weight loss journey. I'm trying to get there, but the food here is really not that bad. Like the food here is not bad at all. Like they have nights where they have like steak and shrimp and they have crab legs and they have like burger nights and shrimp po' boys and stuff like that. And it's really just so hard not to want to eat all the food because it's just all so good. But at the same time, I do have goals and I am trying to get where I want to be. Um, I do want to make a separate video about my goals that I have on deployment. Um, so I'm thinking that's going to be my next video. Yeah, one big thing, like it is really, really hot here. It doesn't matter where you're going to get deployed to. If you're going to get deployed to the Middle East, nine times out of ten, it's going to be really, really hot. I got here a month and a half ago and it really wasn't that hot. Like it was probably like 80s, 90s. Now all of a sudden it's like 102. And 102 back in the States does not feel like 102 here. So where it's like kind of 
humid and kind of like the wind is blowing and it's kind of cool back in the states no it's like a dry heat and it's really really hot and whenever the wind blows it's like burning you like the, so everybody's like oh i don't mind it being hot as long as there's wind but that wind does not feel good but besides that like i said it's really really hot here it takes mail a long time to get here um the food is not really bad like before i even came on deployment i was scared that i was going to lose so much weight because i wasn't going to eat and like people will tell you stories about how bad the food is and tell you that whenever you get here you're going to be sick for the first whole week and none of that had been to like anybody that i know of i do work out twice a day and i actually just started running last week and i ran one mile my goal is to be able to run three to four miles before i but I'm not supposed to be talking to you guys about my goals. Like I said, that's going to be a separate video. And I really just wanted to give you like an update about um, what's been going on here on my deployment. Yeah, whenever you go on deployment, people think, oh, you can't talk to your family. You can't call home. You can't call your wife. You can't call your husband. You can't call your kids. They think like you can talk to your family like once a month or once a week or whatever they may think. But that's really not the case. If you have um, a cell phone and you have service I would recommend you switching over to T-Mobile but regardless if you have T-Mobile if you have AT&T there are ways for you to talk to your family back home I have T-Mobile and I'm able to FaceTime and I'm able to text and I'm able to call on a daily basis but the catch is is very very slow so whenever whenever you're thinking that you can't call home it's not because you can't but it's because like it's just so slow you don't even want to deal with it sometimes but whenever you go into places with wi-fi you're able to use facetime and you're able to send your text messages and you're able to call back home using the wi-fi so there are ways for you to call your family i call home and i talk to my family on a daily basis i text my husband all day every day um, i do facetime whenever I want to see the kids or if I want to talk to my daughter or if I want to tell her night night before she goes to bed. I try to FaceTime whenever I wake up in the morning because the time difference is another factor you want to think about because whenever it is 3.30 here, which is what time I get up, is like bedtime back in the States. So I have my day planned out so that I, I am in Wi-Fi areas whenever I need to call back home. Yeah. Anything you guys want to know about how my deployment is going or what to expect or what to pack or anything, any questions that you may have about deployment, feel free to comment down below. Feel free to email me, like and subscribe to this video and I'll see you guys next time.